The brake system indicator lights will come on at startup and then go off. The main brake system light signals when there is a malfunction in the braking system. Potential issues could be low brake fluid, a malfunction in the charging system, or the anti-lock brake system. If the light does not go off after cycling the engine, have your brake system checked and repaired promptly. The anti-lock brake system indicator will illuminate with the brake system light whenever there is a concern with the ABS system. The ABS may stop working, but the brakes will stay functional. The brake booster light will come on and a buzzer sound simultaneously whenever the brake booster's vacuum or pressure becomes insufficient during driving. If this occurs, do not pump the brakes. You may have to push them harder and be prepared for a longer stopping distance. If this should occur, have the vehicle serviced immediately before you continue driving. The battery discharge warning indicator will come on when the ignition is turned on and go off after the engine is started. If it comes on while the engine is running, there could be an issue with the charging system, such as a loose or broken alternator belt. The exhaust brake indicator is not associated with the service braking system. This light indicates that the exhaust brake is engaged, constricting the exhaust to help slow the vehicle. Sometimes the system will make a puffing sound when the exhaust brake is engaged. Don't worry, this is part of the normal functioning of the exhaust brake. The exhaust brake is turned on by pulling the lever toward you while driving. It will engage automatically when your foot is removed from the accelerator and the truck is traveling above 3 miles per hour. It will disengage when the accelerator or brake pedal is pressed. Releasing the pedal re-engages the exhaust brake. To disengage it, push the lever forward during idling. Here's a tip. Utilizing the exhaust brake will prolong your brake pad wear. The FTR includes a full air brake system. For safety, the truck may start but not move if there is insufficient pressure in the braking system. Allow the truck to idle a few minutes to build up pressure in the system. Then it should move properly. The service vehicle soon indicator illuminates to let you know that the vehicle control system needs service. As soon as possible, you should consult your Isuzu dealer for inspection or repair. For more information on the multi-information display and the warning indicators, see your truck's owner's manual.